I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax. The Justice Department brought federal hate crime charges in the death of Ahmad Arbery, charging a father and son who armed themselves, chased and fatally shot the 25-year-old black man after spotting him running in their Georgia neighborhood. Travis McMichael and his father Gregory were charged along with a third man, Roddy Bryan, with one count of interference with civil rights and attempted kidnapping. The McMichaels are also charged with using, carrying, and brandishing a firearm during a crime of violence. There's new life for a downtown eyesore after it was announced the 18-story skeleton will begin coming down. Plans for what could replace the Berkman 2 building were released. The plan would include residential and some retail sites. The name for now, 500 East Bay. Groundbreaking could take place six months after the current site's demolished. Demolitions projected to cost just over a million dollars and take four months. Florida lawmakers still have to approve the final version of the record $101.5 billion budget for the upcoming year. They're set to vote Friday and end the regular legislative session on time. Among the items in that massive budget, $6 million for the septic tank phase-out project here in Jacksonville. And Florida Republicans moved to ban transgender girls and women from playing on public school teams intended for student-athletes born as girls, sending the proposal to Governor Ron DeSantis and escalating a national culture war over transgender rights. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.